love it when floral designer Oscar Mora visits because he's as colorful and as full of life as the ama amazing arrangements that he designs. And he always brings very unusual flowers with him. And these are all tropicals, right? Yeah. How are you, Martha? I'm Thank good. You. So I'm happy good. to be your you, show again. Would you categorize orchids as tropical? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because they'll grow, they'll they're grow They're originally, all um, over the place. most of them are originally from Asia and South Pacific. Yeah, but always from tropical weather. I was just in Thailand, and I, I think I said it on the show a couple of days ago, the orchids there are amazing in Thailand. Right. Bundles right. of orchids yeah, yeah, for just a few incredible. cents an orchid. You know, yes. it's really beautiful. So we got a glossary here for tropical yeah. um, uh, foliage and flowers. Yeah, I know so what this is. That's, um, that's a psychic. A psychic. Exactly. Yes. Yes. So those uh, are, you oh. know what, those are one of the oldest plants on the world. Oh, I on know. The, on, on the, I guess they were very popular in the Jurassic Right. Times. Dinosaurs yes. loved these. <laughs> they did. Yeah. They used them in all their flower arrangements. Exactly. They did. <laughs> but they are, um, they're a very, very beautiful, and they're also known as sago palms. Uh, sago palms, yeah. exactly. They grow and really large, and they say they're originally from India. Uh, okay, yeah. I, I don't know where they are from, but I, I love them. I grow them. That's I grow right. them because I think they're so beautiful. They're really incredible and, and exotic. And this Next we have oh. uh, Marantha, Achia calathea. Most of the time, people would find them in the market as calathea. Look at the back, purple yeah. on the back. Isn't it interesting how the white um, and green stripes in one side and then that eggplant color on the other side, which is fantastic for designing. Long live, too, mm -hmm. and both of these will last yeah, a long time. very much. So, and oh, Monstera. The Monstera, that oh. normally, uh, this is a very tiny one, but normally you would find them in such a large and humongous right. size. so it's hard to use beautiful for arrangements. For, it's beautiful yeah. for arrangements. Yeah. I love using those because they're also so shiny. You know, there's an um, interesting story, it's a Greek legend about Proteas, that they got their name from Proteus, the uh, um, son of uh, the Greek god uh, Poseidon. Oh. So Proteus used to hide from him to be rebellious, or right. he used to hide from him and turn into a different Protea all the time, to a different oh. flower. So because of the big variety, they are called they are, they And call they're them so Proteas. beautiful. So this one is mink. Yeah, that is the oh, mink oh, protea, like and mink. then we have the pink cushion protea. This uh, is one um, of the most... Yeah, um, that's beautiful. Uh, it was really one of the favorites in, in, the, the, in the flower arrangement. We have the pink ginger here. We have two varieties mm. of ginger. The pink one, so which gorgeous. also comes in red, and usually you find them in really... It's, they grow on the top of a really long stem, so we had to cut them short here for... Visually right. for TV, but they're, they're you know, they're, and they, their leaves and are I very. I had no uh, idea that was a ginger. It is a ginger. Normally, you see them in yellow also, but this is another variety. As what is interesting is that the real flowers are these uh -huh. little things in this waxy structure. Jeez. So, but they're Fine. very, very interesting. They smell like a pineapple, mm. almost. Yeah, they yeah, do. They weird, do. Yeah, they're weird. <laughs> and then yeah, orchids. We, we got um, three varieties here. We got dendrobium orchids mostly from um, Asia. They all come to the market from Thailand. We have the Lady Sleeper, South Pacific in, 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 in China also. Oh, so beautiful. One of the favorites for the uh, collectors that and draw the Himalayas, orchids. And the yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And then the Cymbidium, oh. that they were, it's one of the very l few tropical plants that hold really well on, during the winter. They hold really well on and cold they're, temperatures. And they're kind of an investment. If you put one of these in a they vase of water forever. Yeah, for no, weeks absolutely, at absolutely. Your house. Yeah. They were very popular in the Victorian era in, yeah. era in, oh, in Europe. We what have these, these fantastic heliconias. Um, there's two kinds. The upright, this is called fiber heliconia, and then mm. we have the sheet comb. Is it growing with these things? Oh, it is. That's all part it of it. Yeah, it's part of it, wow. absolutely. And they're striking in their colors and their shapes. That one actually looks like a lobster. Right. And then the other one is, what's that tall stalk next to it? This one, sorry? The tall stalk next to this, this red one. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's called Shi Kong. Oh, my gosh. Like King Kong, but oh. a female version. Oh, Shi Kong. <laughs> it's oh, actually and that thing furry. is hanging from yeah. it. Oh, excuse me, exactly. I can't see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> it's, just, it's all one, one oh, piece. Oh, that's amazing. And the variety of the hanging ones, they also call them sexy. Oh. There's a pink variety of them called sexy pinks. Oh, well, that's very pretty. When we come back, Oscar's going to teach us how to create. Uh, very elegant and tr uh, tropical arrangements using these fantastic flowers and foliage. So stay tuned. <laughs> yeah.